the kinks. Dave Davis will be here just after nine to tell us about learning to play the guitar again after suffering a stroke in 2004. He's performing in the UK for the first time in 13 years. 50 years have passed since the Kinks formed and stormed the charts with hits including You Really Got Me and Lola. Yes, the band hasn't performed together for a number of years now, but guitarist Dave Davis is making a return to the stage after recovering from a stroke. It left him having to relearn how to walk and play the guitar. We'll chat to Dave in a few moments' time, but first, let's have a look at him in the Kinks. Brilliant classics there. Oh, yeah, Dave's watching that with us there. Were you saying that looks like a hundred years ago? I think it was, wasn't it? <laughs> Not at all. No, it's fun looking back at that stuff. Just bring us right up to date. How are you? Is question one because you know you, uh, you, you had a, a bad patch. You had a stroke. Yeah, I had a, a stroke in um, 2004, and uh, I lost the use of my right side of my body. I was. Fairly, I was on my back, you know, wondering, is this the end? <laughs> you know, but, but with some care and some really great people in rehab, went through a, a regime of, you know, working out and, and uh, I don't, learnt more about the mind and the brain and the body and muscles and muscle memory and so I'm back fighting. Well, I mean, looking at the way you're fit. moving now, I mean, you're obviously moving completely perfectly, and you're, you're able to play the guitar again? Oh, yeah, I've been touring in the States, uh, Chicago and New York, and did shows there. I've got a new album out called I Will Be Me, and um, I'm going to do a show in London next Friday. Which people will be very excited about. I think we can see now a little bit of the new material, so let's oh, have a look good, at that. I hope so. Promise lie you made to speedily For many men there is so much grief And my mind is proud but it aches with rage And if I live too long I'm afraid I'll die Strangers on this road we are We are not two, we are one Strangers on this road, we are We are not two, we are one Brilliant to see that. Dave, it's your first uh, UK tour in 13 years. How are you feeling about it? Are you excited? Um, terrified. Are you? <laughs> no. No, I'm very happy, you know, each day is, is a new day and I'm very excited about it. Playing my hometown, um, I've got a great band supporting me and uh, it'll be a mixture of rock, new stuff and um, some ballads like Strangers and uh, a few surprises maybe. A few surprises too. And it's this year, of course, is the uh, 50th anniversary of the formation of the Kinks. Well, this year. Yeah. yeah. Is there any chance that we'll ever see a reunion? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I've been talking to Ray, and me and Ray get on really, really well. And, and um, we're going to do something, but I can't do it, tell you. So yeah. you are going to do something oh, then? I think so. 
Well, and that is, I mean, that in itself saying its possibility is quite yeah. a big change, isn't it? Because those who followed the fortunes of the band will know that has been a, it's been a difficult relationship between you and Ray, hasn't it? Slightly up and down, but you know, we we love each other deeply, you know, and um, we got on okay. We'll see. We'll see what's up. Try and do something, but not sure what yet. Okay, so it's a possibility. Yes. But meanwhile, uh, you were clearly enjoying, you know, working solo and doing your oh, own thing, great. having I your own it. band. I love it. Yeah, rock and roll. And there is such a distinctive sound. I was mindful listening to, to that short clip we heard of the new material. There is a very distinctive sound. To I mean, to your work, but it, it, I mean, straight away, it sounds to me very much like. The Kinks. I mean, it's well, if that song sound. was a part for a Kinks album that was out in God knows, I can't remember, a long time time ago. So I mix up the old songs with the new, and it's always nice to play new material. You know? So it's good to um, to balance it with both. So makes it more enjoyable for me. Mm. And where did you get your sound from? Because you're you know, famous for your riffs. Where, where uh, did it come from? Well, I, I've always loved riffs. And uh, I think any musician likes a riff you know, to, to play. And, um, and I think it comes from listening to all those great records in the 50s and the Ventures and people like that and the blues Blue Skies, like Big Bill Brunsey and John B. Hooker was a big, big influence. So you, you listen to a bit and, and but, um, yeah, you, you really got me, the sound we got and you really got me was um oh, Well, I'll tell you what, you mentioned some YouTube. of those songs there and they do absolutely stand the test of time. People are very mm, excited really about your songs. appearance. It's at the Barbican. So thank you so much for seeing us this morning. Yes. The 11th. Don't the 11th, yes. Yeah, good luck with it's it all. The 11th thank of you. April at the Barbican. That's us done for today. We're both back tomorrow at 6. Yes, have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Coming up.